Hey, Nick Moreland here from Pull Right Fifth Wheel Hitches. We had a request uh, earlier today regarding the adjustment of the Pull Right Super Glide, so I figured I'd put together a quick video to show you guys uh, many adjustments that are necessary on this, as well as the maintenance items that are important to uh, keep in mind with the Super Glide. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the forward stop adjustment. That's one of the more common questions that we get in our tech support department. The uh, Usually what, how you know that that adjustment needs done is that number one, the hitch is going to, when you're not trailer, when you're not towing your trailer and the hitch is just in the bed, it's going to have a tendency to slide around on you and make all sorts of noise in the bed. That tells you that the adjustment needs done. Uh, also, if you're towing your trailer and you're getting a little bump when you're starting and stopping, uh, that could also mean that that adjustment needs done. Now the adjustment that I'm talking about is the forward stop adjustment, which we do outline in your owner's manual. But there is, a, I'd like to you know, spend a couple of minutes just to show you exactly how it's done. If you can see, this hitch is really easy to move around right now. It should be much more difficult. It should somewhat lock into that forward position. So what I'm going to do is move the hitch outside of the forward position, and we're gonna adjust this stop right here. Now if you look, there's a jam nut right there. We're gonna use an open end 15 16 wrench. Loosen up the jam nut a little bit. And because it's too loose, we're going to screw the plate out that direction a little bit. Now, I usually go about a half a turn at a time. You can see it's still easy. Now we're starting to get a little resistance. So I'm going to put a little bit more. And you see how I have to use both hands to get that to lock in there? That means that that's how we want that adjustment. So now the only other thing we need to do is tighten down the jam nut without letting this move. And now this hitch is going to lock into that forward position. It's gonna be extremely tight. It's not going to wanna to slide around on you when you're, not, uh, when you're not towing. Now, in addition to that forward stop, uh, some of the maintenance items that are important with this, with the Super Glide, the most important thing is lubrication. These silver tubes, they need sprayed down with WD-40 every day of travel. And when we, where we want you to spray is on the top surface, on both tubes, and then the sides, the facing surfaces here. Those need to be coated with WD-40 as well. And then shoot a little bit into, the, uh, into these plastics that are in the center of the hitch. You can actually see a little vertical crack right there in the middle. We want to uh, shoot the WD-40 in there. That's going to keep everything moving nice and easily. Now another item that does need done occasionally is greasing of the pivot bolt. This hitch has the ability to rock side to side. Now that rocks back and forth on a, on a main pivot bolt. So we're gonna pull that out and lubricate that as well. To do that, we're gonna pull these little clevis pins and clips out. Remove the hitch head. Now we're gonna need an inch and an eighth deep well socket. And we're gonna remove that uh, nut right there. Don't pull it off all the way. We're just going to pull it to where it's hanging off a little bit of that bolt. That way we can hit it without damaging the threads. Now we'll pull it off the rest of the way. So you can just pretty much push that bolt out the rest of the way. And I get it all the way to where I can start seeing some threads. Just your run-of-the-mill bearing grease here. A lot less messy with a paintbrush. Just gonna coat the shoulder of the bolt. And this isn't something that needs done all the time, just annually. I mean, if you're using the hitch a lot, uh, you'll want to do it a little bit more than that, but if you're just, you know, using it several trips throughout the year, doing it annually will be, be fine. 
Now, if you notice, I pushed down a little pressure right here because there is a tension spring under there. That helps line everything back up. And then the bolt just pushes right in and it locks into place right next to that uh, welded block. Now we're left to just put the lock washer and the nut back into onto the bolt. Now when we tighten this, we want to tighten it to where the rocker arm doesn't easily move like that. We want, it should have to, you should have to put some weight on it to, to make it rock. You can see now it's not easily moving, but I can put my body weight on it and it rocks side to side still. We'll set the inch plate back on there. Put the clevis pins back in. Put your clips on. And that's really all the maintenance that you need to know with the Super Glide. Uh, you take those few things into, into consideration. Uh, do your annual maintenance annually. Make sure you're lubricating the tubes with WD-40 every day of travel. And this hitch is going to serve you well for many, many years. Thanks a lot for watching.